Welcome back y'all to Daddy Dutch Barbecue. Today, armadillo eggs on a skewer. Is it worth it? Stick around, let's find out. Let's get to assembling this snack. What do you say, guys? Uh, this is about 12 ounces cream cheese. If I got a little extra, that's fine. Um, I have a Mexican style, uh, finely shredded cheese that I'm adding. We're going to go, we're going to say right about a cup. Now, if you have your own and want to grate it, that would be even better. If you have block cheese. I had this on hand, and I know we're going to be using a lot of it tomorrow for the big game. So I'm just using this. I do prefer to use, uh, to shred my own. So we are going to add good amount, probably two to three tablespoons pork bomb, pork, or sorry, smoke bomb in here because we are using it on pork. So this is not quite soft enough. So we're going to let this set, come up a little more. Let me show you how we're going to do these jalapenos real quick. What I like to do is the first thing we're going to do very carefully we're just going to go around the, the stem and take that part off we want to leave the end on as best we can so we're going to come down about halfway about a half inch from the end here okay and only go through halfway now what we're going to do is come on the side here Be careful doing this. Please do not cut yourself. Okay. There we go. We're going to make a boat out of this. So we're going to take the back of a spoon. Hopefully this is still in camera shot. If not, I'll show you when I'm done here real quick. And we're going to scoop the veins and the seeds out. Now if you have whatever method you prefer to get the seeds out go right ahead so we'll finish the top cap here real quick get that off we're gonna leave these together now we're gonna bring you back as soon as I get this cream cheese mixed up and I'm sure by looking at the camera now that not all of this is in the screen so here's what we want, is a boat, just like that. We're gonna fill it with cream cheese. We're gonna cap it. So let me get this cream cheese mixed up real quick. I'm gonna get the rest of the jalapenos prepped, just like that. And uh, I'll give you a picture of the jalapenos and everything. And then you can see our sausage and bacon in the back. We're gonna take you to that step next. So we've got our cream cheese fairly well mixed up with the Mexican style cheese and the smoke bomb. So what we're going to do is just take a spoon and start filling our jalapeno here. Now I can tell you I got way too much cream cheese for all this. That's all right. Big games tomorrow. We'll find a place to use it. Now, we're going to cap it. And the nice thing about doing it this way, hopefully, we have a lot less cheese blow up. So, let me grab a towel real quick. There we go. Now, if you look back here, I have my pork, just regular ground sausage. We're going to try to see if we can cover these with these six pieces of pork. It's going to be tough. And to be honest with you, I think we're going to need a little more pork than what we have here. Thankfully, we have more in the fridge. Get that towel out of the way. We want these to be big. I'm going to guess 
going to be a couple of pieces of bacon, or three, per jalapeno. So, three of these I'll be cooking up today. We already have the GMG Jim Bowie fired up outside. All right. We have some... Uh, couple small pieces of pork butt on there for the game tomorrow we will be doing uh, brisket and pulled pork nachos so let's get one of these assembled for you Oop. one piece at a time please we're gonna start at the end overlapping itself grab our next piece just keep going now like I said I know I'm gonna have extra mix left and that's fine because this is basically the exact same thing as the start to the jalapeno Mac so there we have one <laughs> football done we're gonna get a couple more of these done up and we'll bring you back. Just a couple things left to do. First, we're going to take our little balls of goodness. We're going to hit them with a little pig shake on the outside. If you haven't tried pig shake and smoke bomb together on pork, you're missing out. These were meant to be a snack, but with the size of the jalapeno, as much sausage and bacon as it takes to cover these, it's going to eat more like a meal. And that's all right. Passive snacking after halftime, always. Now, one last thing. Let's make them a little different. Let's go ahead and slide that through. Careful not to poke yourself on the other end. Come on, where you at? Wants to argue with me. There it is. There she's through. All right. We're gonna finish skewering the last two. We're gonna get them on a wire rack. And like I said, the smoker's already outside at 275. So we'll bring you back when we put them on the smoke. Right on cue, the smoker kicks in. You can hear it pulsing on and off, but there we go. There's our pork butts over there. Let's get this slid in. And we're going to come back in 20 minutes to check them. i tell you what, all in all, for Iowa, the day before the Super Bowl, and I'm outside in a t-shirt. Gotta love it. Right, we are 30 minutes in. Take a look at these guys. A little bit of seepage, but not bad. We're gonna rotate the grate 180 degrees and come back in another half hour. All right, everybody, here we are. The one hour look yet. I just turned it up to 300 to finish off that bacon. We're going to bring them inside, let them cool, and uh, we'll slice one in half and tell you what we think. All right, here we are again. Uh, this is two and a half total hours, last half hour at 300, and I've got a little bit of something, something to glaze these with, if you know what I mean. So let's... get these back in back to bed for 10 minutes we'll bring you back here we are finished product truth be told not sure why I did the skewer idea you're not gonna pick this up it's not gonna be handheld food but let's 
get that skewer out. These smell incredible. Let's cut one of these bad boys open, what do you say? Oh yeah. Look at that creamy goodness in the middle with that cream cheese. So, all right, uh, that is it for this one, y'all. Hey, armadillo eggs, damn, they're good. Just a, a little reminder, I didn't do it on camera. Make sure you're temping uh, that ground sausage. You want it, uh, you want it a good 160 degrees. And you're gonna get there either way with uh, the, getting the bacon nice and crispy. It's not an overly thick layer. But, like I said, we're gonna cut these up, have some tonight, have some tomorrow for the big game. Hope you all enjoyed this one, give it a try. Go see my buddy, Uncle Steve. It's UncleSteveShake.com. And uh, if you tell him Dutch sent you, and there's room in the box, he'll throw you a little extra something, something in there. So for those of you in the Texas, more specifically Houston area, I'll be seeing you in less than two weeks. Take care, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye.